Hi, welcome to an Onshape video tutorial. I want to do the shift schraube or propeller now in Onshape. And in Onshape it's as easy as in SolidWorks or in Katia or in Siemens and X. So let's have fun with Onshape. So if you need a helix, you need a cylinder. So I will start with a sketch on the top plane and that would be a circle and diameter would be 30 close the sketch make an extrude with that circle and make it 50 and confirm. Now go for the helix, select cylindrical or cylindrical face, that would be this one, and I need not turns but height and pitch, and the height would be 50, and the pitch should be 200. And now it needs a circle edge, so I will use that edge and confirm. Now I've got my helix right here. So I want to do a sweep, therefore I need another sketch. So go for a sketch on that plane or on that plane, it doesn't really matter, you could use both of them. And I want to include that point right here. Let's do a line, and that would be 100 in length. So go for dimension and make it 100. Mm, sorry. Go for dimension and make it 100. Close the sketch. Now let's do a sweep. And that would be a surface, and that would be the sketch which should be swept. Swept, yeah. And the sweep path would be that helix. And I already got this nice surface. Confirm. Now I want to thicken that, so go for a thicken. That would be the surface to thicken and make it, let's say, 0 0.5 in one direction and 0 0.5 in the other direction. And you could add it to the already available body. And confirm. Now let's hide the surface body. Very nice. And okay, I will use that sketch and make another extrude with this sketch right here. Make it, let's say, 70 to one direction, and second end position would be 5 millimeter. You could add it or you could make a new one. Let's add it and confirm. I could hide all those planes. And I want to do a fillet right here, which should be 15. I can do another fillet on this edge and on that edge and let's make this one 2 or 1 millimeter confirm and another fillet on this edge let's 
make it 30. Confirm. And over there as well. Make it 30 again. Confirm. Now let's hide the sketches, all of them. And now I could do a circular pattern. So go to pattern, circular pattern. I want to pattern the part. The axis, I could use that edge to define my axis. Let's go for three equal spacing, 360 degrees, or let's say three instead of four and confirm and I'm done. So hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked it, please give it a like, leave a comment, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please like and subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page, that would be very lovely of you. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one, bye bye.